Like I said, it's Blade Pack 2. Uh, attack speed reduced by... Wait. You invoke an ancient curse that slows your foes and undermines their defenses. The Blade Pack lasts for 7 seconds, and any enemy passing through the Blade Pack area suffers the effect for the listed duration. Attack speed is reduced by 15%. Uh, that's, that's pretty good, but I think I'm going to want some more damage. So I'm going to get Glaive Throw. Uh, you also have your character panel. This person is more to be specced in dexterity, so you can have better, higher dodge chance, as well as crit chance, or crit... I don't know, is that crit damage or crit chance? I don't actually know. Alright, well, whatever. hoo -ah. Man, that is just amazing. Ooh! See, right there, he just exploded on death. That was awesome. That's why this game's... That's one of the reasons this game's so fun. I don't know, I, I never was really into these kinds of games. I just... It didn't really appeal to me. Diablo 3, Diablo 2... I mean, yeah, I was interested in Diablo 3 because it sounded like it was a big deal, and then it turned out to be just kind of like every other ARPG, only a bit worse. Still calling out that game. And so, uh, you know. Just never really appealed to me. This game, though, I picked it up because it was 20 bucks. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. It's not 60, so I don't have to invest that much in it. And uh, I, I very easily get 20 bucks out of a game without too much worry. But man, I would have paid 60 for this if I had known how much fun I would have in it. This is amazing. Like I said, I've already beaten it with one character, my Ember Mage. He is a, he's a baller. He just does so much damage. He is Glass Cannon at its finest. My NG is a bit kind of tanky DPS kind of dude. He does a lot of damage. He can't take as many hits, or he can't take very many hits, but he can take a lot more than, say, my Ember Mage. So, that's got to count for something. Just going to toss out all my Glaives, kill you, shoot more dudes, because it's awesome. But yeah, everybody's probably going to be doing videos of this. Uh, the only reason I'm doing videos of this is because it's the only game I really feel like playing, like I said earlier. I don't actually want to play anything else actively. Uh, let's see, skills. There are also passives for each, uh, each skill tree. One's unlocked at level 1, one's unlocked at level 7, one's unlocked at level 14. Your acrobatic training increases the odds of your dodging a blow. Eh. It's not too important that I start dodging blows just yet, so I'm going to grab another ranking glaive throw. What's your business here? Because frankly, I just kill them too quickly for them to uh, actually fight back. Eh. I think I'll pick up you. Put you on main hand. Ooh, that looks like it would be good. Uh, Unidentify it at level 4. That's only one more level. That wouldn't take a lot of effort. So we'll just wait. There's also identification type, you know, uh, things that you have to identify as far as weapons and armor goes. But... Uh, people bothering me. Ugh. Um, whoops, wrong button. No, still not the right button. Huh. It's weird. Okay. Um, anyway. What was I saying? Something. I don't remember. So, I... No, I actually have completely forgotten what I was talking about. Crap. Um, okay. So then we'll talk a little bit about the game, I guess. Uh, one of the first things you'll probably notice about the game is your animal. 
and that you can throw those whenever you feel like it. Having fun there, Mr. Pet. Your animal does fight. Uh, it has three sets. One is passive, which means it wouldn't fight at all. Defensive, which means it only fights when you attack something. And aggressive, which means it fights everything in sight. You'll also probably notice that uh, the loot system, it's not that bad. It's pretty good, actually. I kind of like it. There are specs and embers that increase ice ar that increase armor or, you know, uh, gold find, magic item find. I don't think there's any experience find, but there's also a lot of really cool things that you can get. Like, this one gives plus 4 physical damage. This one has 20 knockback and plus 5 physical damage. But some of these get really crazy. I've had weapons that had like a 5% chance to spawn a skeleton head that goes around and shoots things on uh, kill. Which was really, really cool, and it's actually incredibly helpful. And I forgot what I was talking about. I'm actually pretty sure that this time I was finished with what I was saying, though. Oh, that was amazing. I shot him. I critted him. I, get, I got a crit on him. He exploded, and it was awesome. But uh, as far as early game goes, it's really basic kind of inventory. You do have two weapons, or two weapon slots, or, no, how, how do we say that? Sets. Weapon sets. That's how it explains it. You can press W or whatever you decide to bind the hotkey to to switch weapons. I'm going to main my pistols, but I'm also going to use this bow because it's really good. Huh. Pop you on uh, passive. I want to try out this bow. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I talked about the pet a little. We can get into the rest of it later. Asterion Enclave. This is your hub for the first act. There's a fishing hole. There is a fishing mechanic. You can get fish to uh, do things to your pet. You can also fish and get things like health potions and whatnot. I actually have a shared stash. Why? Um, no comment. I didn't empty it out, did I? I don't think I did. I'll have to check that out later. That's bothering me. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to identify this. See, here's, uh, here's a good one. This bow, Outland Bow of Venom, is obviously very superior to the bow that I have now. So I can just take my bow. Then, if I decide to get out of this, I can open up my inventory, shift-click, and send everything that I don't want to my pet's inventory. Now, what does your pet inventory matter for? Your pet has a send pet home button. He sells everything in your inventory, including everything in his inventory, including consumables, spells, general inventory, and you can have a shopping list so he can pick up things for you. Like, say I was out and I wanted to get health potions. I could just go boop, 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 buy me health potions. And he would. Also, if you're in town and your pet is holding your entire inventory, why is this taking so long? It shouldn't be taking so long. I mean, I get it. I am recording. Uh, I think... Nope, service. we're good. I mean, I get it. I am recording, but that's still... Anyway, whatever. What else? There's a skill respec person. Did you need you can only respec the last three skills that you've invested into. So you will have to keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, that's about it. You have health pots, you have mana pots. All those are automatically bound to one and two, but they do also have uh, 
keys here. Use best.